Hey, and welcome back to Sumeru. This looks familiar. What? Wait. Is this... Yes. Is this where we fought Ravani V? Yes, this is where we <laughs> fought Rayquazar. Okay! <laughs> <laughs> Why are we back here? I don't remember a goddamn thing you guys are talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh surprised Brian remembers, to be fair. Not me! I'm kidding. I know Hell exactly. No. Oh. Oh. Uh, anyway, we're... Right? <laughs> Break with right? Break with Jafar? I mean, might as well have been Jafar. Jafar? <laughs> Jafar Navar. Oh, Jafar. This is, this is gonna be our new Shyamalan. <laughs> For what's-his-face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't kill that goat for existing. <laughs> oh, she's about to. Oh, oh, okay. Oh. No, I'm just filling I'm in the map. <laughs> Why is it glowing? Why is it glowing? It was uh, healing, I think. Oh. They can heal. They can do a jigglypuff and heal when they're sleeping or some shit like that. That's like some bullshit. Which I think the dog does too, but. The dog's a terrible party member, and everyone is upset about it. Okay, probably not everyone, but I know at least one other person on the internet is upset about it. In their and their rankings of party members. And their name is Brian. <laughs> Hell yeah, their name is Brian. Fuck that dog. It was someone who was, like, ranking all of the indivisible party members, and he was like, the dog sucks, and I'm very upset about it. <laughs> Darn it, that's a lot of rocks. I have a lot of rocks up, yes. <laughs> I have two circles of rocks. Wait, there are two? <laughs> yes. Is that legal? <laughs> yes. I have been charging up very many rocks. Also, I was gonna do a stupid thing where in the background you can see the fight with Chavanavar. <laughs> Jeff, you, I don't know who this Ravonavar is, but I know Jafarafar. I can't believe you actually said Jafarafar. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever the fuck said. Um, and then they just had his fucking loot there and Dar freak out. I'm like, alright, well, I guess I don't have to put the reminder. <laughs> they, they already did it. <laughs> anyway, I think I mentioned this before. Every time we go to fight Kala, the path up is a little different. And once you get to a new area, the music changes. Neat. Here's the new music. For... Is this a good music change? I, I mean... Know, I'm a solo, I can't really hear. I like it. <laughs> I mean, I like all of them. Okay, I don't like the, the last one so much, but that's because the platforming gets insane. Do what I can no, to protect the people. That sounds about right. <laughs> I still don't believe you're ready, but I said I'd stand by you, and I will. You're really not ready. Uh, Everything that yeah, comes no. next is your fault. <laughs> but, you know, plot and whatnot. <laughs> Something really bad is gonna happen, isn't it? <laughs> oh, yes. I mean, if by plot you mean forced, okay? <laughs> I mean, it's plot in the sense that Ajna's a complete stubborn idiot. But yeah, I like this song. You can hear it here. Oh yeah, that's pretty kind of funky-ish. <laughs> I love minor steps, or half steps like that. Mm -hmm. I think it's a half step. I don't use terminology yeah. correct, but... Well, you're a percussionist, so... <laughs> wow. Well, well, you played the xylophone, right? Like... Yeah, I mostly did marimba, xylophone, vibraphone, so... Right, so you, you the understand. The piano ones. <laughs> there was a save spot right there. And there was one just right down there. Because I think at some, at some level the developers know that the platforming is particularly picky. <laughs> so, why wouldn't they just make it Because less? there's a lot of save points. <laughs> when you, get, you, when you get to the part with bad platforming, there's a lot of save points. <laughs> you know what, speaking of, of horrible platforming, uh, what? the next Disgaea game getting remastered <laughs> is uh, 
is a collection of Prinny 1 and 2. Oh boy. <laughs> They're platformers. Have you guys played Ghosts and Goblins? Uh, no, yes. I've never played it personally. I have never oh, gotten sorry. past, like, the Have you played level? Castlevania 1? Still no. Also, <laughs> yes. Okay. Still when you jump... I haven't gotten very far, though. When you jump, you're locked... You're locked in your arc. Oh, no. That's what <laughs> happens in the printy games. I hate that. <laughs> you can my, either jump... This is my favorite platforming mechanics. <laughs> you can either jump straight up or to the right or left. Although, to be fair, it's a realistic mechanic, I guess. Yeah, but I don't... I definitely don't play Disgaea for realism. <laughs> I don't play platformers for realism, or I jump yeah, over, like, know, 12 inches. I'm calling bullshit. Whenever I try to jump over a river, I always chicken out mid-jump and jerk my body <laughs> so intensely. <laughs> <laughs> I had the other side I jump from, so, yeah, no. <laughs> Wait, do you have to manually turn around? Uh, yeah. Sort of. That's horrible. <laughs> yes! See, it's- it's literally not just me. Like, I will admit when it's my fault, but the controls when it comes to the axe and the spear for platforming are a little- a little wonky. <laughs> and the fact that that right there, that axe attack, that can also be triggered when you're trying to air dash. Right. So if you've so, already air dashed uh, your maximum number of times based on your power, uh, you'll just do that and plummet to your death. <laughs> that happens a lot later. <laughs> Once I get that's to the impossible platforming. <laughs> yeah, no, that sounds like frustrating button mapping. I'm getting flashbacks from SA2. <laughs> <laughs> It's like the 20th time we've said that. Yeah, probably. Uh, yeah. And, uh... Since it's it still keep, true. Keep, yeah, we keep reopening that wound so it'll never go away. <laughs> I wonder if that would actually work. Why isn't there, like, a Ninja Warrior obstacle course that has to do with stuff, stuff like that? There, There is? No, like, but you... They give you a spear, right? So, I'm 900% sure that isn't physically possible. <laughs> well, you, you pull yourself even, off. Even if you get to the point where you have a substance that the spear can penetrate and not immediately rip out of with your own weight, already a little difficult. You have to also be able to yank it out mid-jump <laughs> and navigate yourself farther along before stabbing it. There's there's a lot of force involved going opposite directions, and I really don't think it works. Yeah, um, no, um, fuck Newton's third law. I don't care. I'm gonna make it work anyway. <laughs> I, I don't know how to tell you this. <laughs> so I'm not. <laughs> don't let your dreams be dreams. I won't! <laughs> I appreciate your support. <laughs> um, your, your, this tantamount to blind agreement, what you're doing, so... I'm, I mean, I'm it's more like I want to see you fail a few hundred times. <laughs> Aha! But I won't fail, for I will find a small, a small, a small, small subset of people on the internet <clears throat> who just naturally agree with me. And then we'll talk to each other about how much we agree with our wrongness. <laughs> yeah, except you're trying to physically prove something that can't physically be done. Oh, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> I don't have the strength to do that. I can't do that at all. Somebody else needs to do it. And if somebody else fails to do it, well, then they just weren't good enough. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> or they're just not, you know, part god. There's, there's <laughs> So I guess that is something to consider in the fact that she is able to do this. She is not fully human, so I guess there's that. Actually, she's technically if... not human at all, I think. It's a little confusing. Yeah, her mother 
quote unquote mother didn't birth her, right? She did not. <laughs> okay. She is so... literally well, we're gonna find out which specific part of Kala she is, uh, in the next part, I believe. Um What, like her big toe or <laughs> I mean, sort of. But oh, how that I specific was... body part became a human like baby is a little a little confusing. Wow. While the rest of the parts of Kala that disappear turn into the ring zills. Hey. <laughs> no. This is kind of par for the course. Still don't really get that. One becomes child, other becomes gems. Like, 500 <laughs> gems. Don't really get that. <laughs> but children are just as precious as gems. As gems are, it makes sense to me. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, no. <laughs> Yes, it was. But it's okay, because I edited my- Oh yeah, that's another thing. This is one of those games that if you get the item and then die, you have to get it again. Oh, come on! So it doesn't count until you, like, reach solid ground or something? Yeah, it doesn't- it doesn't count until you get- Actually, I think it doesn't count until you get to the other side, or get to the next, like, mini auto checkpoint. Because I had a part later where I was like, okay, this is a pain in the ass, so I got it, and then I landed back at the beginning, and then tried again, and it didn't count. Because <laughs> I guess it was still considered one attempt. <sighs> See, they, they have the wherewithal to program in that, but not to fine-tune their platforming, so it's not absurd. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> now I'm being murdered by a piece of rice. <coughs> ah, your one true weakness. I know. <laughs> you know, every time I see that lady with the tentacle head, yes. I keep forgetting that she's like holding a pot with it. So I, I just keep rediscovering it, and it—it it really is a fascinating existence that I'm leading. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> That hurts. Curse you, Rice. I thought you were my Rice friend. <laughs> How can one million of something be your friend? <laughs> I don't know. At least one of them these should be malicious to you just for the law of averages. <laughs> I mean, I guess. <laughs> I think they'd mostly be indifferent or apathetic. Well, they are. But it only took one grain of rice, one... One angry grain <laughs> to take you out. <laughs> I mean, not permanently, just, you know, mostly. Okay. Well, oh god, I'm having PTSD with this one. <laughs> oh man. The, the camera panning out does not bode well, honestly. <laughs> oh, you're, you're, you're absolutely correct. Oh, this might actually be one of the times where I was like, okay, that's a pain to get. I'm gonna go back to the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's what I'm so trying I'll to save. do. So I'll save? <laughs> yeah, so I forced it to scroll back over here, being like, alright, hopefully that counts. If I recall correctly, I edit out my next death, but I don't think it counted. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> that is, that's diabolical. A little, you yeah. Me? <laughs> I guess I didn't go far enough for it to load, like, well, technically, I don't even think it loads the areas one at a time, but still. Oh, maybe I actually just make it. Nope. <laughs> nope, you're dead. <laughs> you know, like, the thing, the thing that bothers me about this is, like, okay, you can have a time-consuming fucking RPG, you can have a super meat boy style platformer. Don't! You cannot have both! <laughs> uh, they beg to differ, apparently. Yeah, I, 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 they would do that. They would do that, wouldn't they? But I, I disagree. <laughs> I mean, did you find this satisfying? <laughs> oh, no, not really. Yeah. No, you didn't! <laughs> and I'm pretty sure, even having beaten the game and going back to do it, I'm pretty sure I still wouldn't be able to do it first try. Because of shit like that, where it's like, oops, you weren't you weren't high enough, so we're gonna do the spear and not the axe. 
Yeah, you weren't hitting up. You were hitting right. Or left, but eh. Very new spirit set. Like, is this shit that makes, like, Kaizo style platformers so difficult? Because there's a fine line between, you know, re legitimate challenge and then just bullshit, really. <laughs> And, yeah. and it's a difficult balance to make, so you need to, you need to devote a lot more time <laughs> to finding that balance, so, you know... Yeah, because like, it's, it's like half skill-based, and half, you better hope the controls cooperate <laughs> with you. Yeah, no. Like, yeah, sure, you can see which skills you need to do and when, but, you know, if it thinks you're hitting the wrong direction... <laughs> that's right. a shame! You just so, used you know, the wrong ability. <laughs> That's what I'm arguing, either dial down the fucking platforming, or, or go all in, in which case you have to sacrifice other things. <laughs> like Jafarovar. Uh, you yes. could have made him 5 foot 10 instead <laughs> of 8 foot 3. <laughs> yes. I don't think anyone of us were really would have minded. <laughs> She make it. <laughs> Yay! She gets to keep that jewel thingy. Yay! This oh time. Goodness. How many fucking? How many of these things are there? <laughs> oh, it's long. It's it's this entire episode. Is it's... the boss fight or whatever comes after this worth it? <laughs> I mean, I think no. <laughs> uh, that's because I greatly disagree with the writer's decision. <laughs> I, I guess we'll. This feels so strange. Guess we'll talk about that when. <laughs> oh, we'll get there. It's it's <laughs> next episode. One thousand years. You already knew this. Cast out of Sumeru, Kala has changed it in only sixteen years. When we defeat Kala, you'll be able to come back and live here if you want. Oh wait, yeah, she used sure to live there? <laughs> yes! Again, Ajna already knew this. You probably right. forgot. We'll make it right. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> yeah, it was in that when we first met her and there was like 20 whole minutes of dialogue and exposition. It was in one of those. Oh uh, yeah, I wasn't paying attention to that at all. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Don't go well, that wonder... way. That's a shortcut for when you're coming back. There's also a ringsel here, but it's mostly a shortcut. Don't do is it! Gonna be, is there gonna be like a Metroid style, like, escape from the stronghold section or anything like that? Or... <laughs> Try that again? I, I was asking if there's like a Metroid esque um, escape. Sequence that you have to go through here, and then nope. that's a shortcut. No, that's a shortcut for when we come back the third time. There's a third time? <laughs> I already I alluded to the fact that there's a third time. Yeah, well, I, I missed that, but. <laughs> God, how many times can you go back to the same spot? <laughs> well, that's why I at least appreciate that they made the platforming a little different each time and that you have different skills and can therefore take a different routes. Mm -hmm. Um. But, yes. How many times can you come back to the same oh. spot? Well, you see, if Ajna wasn't impatient, it only would have had to be twice. But, Ajna's an idiot, as we know. <laughs> yep. <laughs> You know, that's the thing. I don't... This isn't really likable. <laughs> my my thing is like, yeah, this looks... it's It looks cool, or it's cool to be like, yeah, I, I timed that right. But it's not, like... In, it's too stressful, I think. And not in, like, a good way. I'm back, just time. in time to finish. Yes, you are. <laughs> Uh, it's stressful, but not in, like, a satisfying way. Not in, like, a survival <laughs> horror way, but in a, oh god, I'm gonna have to redo this whole thing in the controller's fight me kind of way. <laughs> no, 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 no! Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. 
Like, it's sort of satisfying when you get it right on the first try, but then there's that panic when you miss just a little bit. So, <laughs> tune in next time for when stupid things happen. <laughs>